everyone. We have an update from Interstellar Communication Holdings, which provides an affordable personal satellite service named IC Mercury for stargazers, utilizing Pocket Cube technology as a customized user platform. Happy to welcome back Space Ambassador of IC Mercury, Sadie Hewitt, <laughs> the lifeguard of IC Mercury, Harry Leighton, and the captain of IC Mercury, Lija Zhu. Nice to see you all again. We are going to start with the video and then we'll go into the update. Every once in a while, you come across an organization that just shifts the paradigm. Um, so that was huge for us and huge for IC Mercury to get you guys flying your first missions. The paper that is so wrong, sometimes things go wrong. It's not a big deal. It looks really easy, but we know that it's not easy unless you actually know the right people to do it for you. The hardware you have on your table today, tomorrow is flying in space. This isn't just an app, it's a first of its kind ecosystem. Going to the moon on Wednesday. I have no words to say. I'm very much um, how happy I am to be selected and told what they have to do. Yeah, we'll keep the networks that the four in the forest as a beautiful technology and uh, just providing the early system for the forest flyers. We believe that with this partnership uh, with IC Mercury, we are going to be able to give the younger generations and of course students tools so they can actually learn on how to extract valuable information. Games which can uh, think and bring change uh, to the future uh, with the smallest uh, satellite and the lightest satellite which can go and everybody can dream to have their own satellite in the space. Uh, the journey shows that with the right network, uh, the right knowledge uh, and strategy, even a small team with a bold idea can reach beyond our planet. Take it away. Thank you very much, Anna. I hope everybody likes the video uh, because we really enjoyed uh, when we see it the first time. It got really, I got really emotional. So as you just saw in the video, voices from all over the world are commenting in space. Artists, engineers, dreamers, all united by a simple belief that every person deserves to be heard even across the stars. So I see Mercury is not just a satellite project. It is an open platform for personal expression in orbit, a place where messages, memories, and creativity are no longer limited by geography or politics. Within just a few grams of data, anyone, not just nations or corporations, I mean, anyone can send something personally into the space. Our first satellite, Hades ICM, launched successfully, now orbits in the Earth every 90 minutes. On board are messages to the loved ones, quite signals sent from Earth into space, carry it not for display, but as a way to make presence felt across distance and time. So, Hari, do you think space projects are easy? Space projects are never simple. But what we 
archived so far, from launch logistic to secure communication protocols to long-term orbital operations has only been possible because of a dedicated global team. Each step has taken engineering precision, collaboration and trust. And yet, despite and complexity, we all choose to be here, not just because we believe in space, but because we believe in making it accessible with care. So our goal, our goal is not to impress, it's to serve. We want to offer the most reliable, thoughtful platform for people to engage with the cosmos, whether through science, art, memory, or play. Not to define what space should mean, but to show what's possible when more people can take part. By making its access real, we leave room for imagination to grow, so imagination can take its own course. So that's a brief overview of our IC Mercury project. Uh, today, we're very happy to be back on the platform of Emerging Growth Conference, and uh, we'll be happy to take any questions. Wonderful, thank you guys. Yes, a question would be from Drake. Do you have any projections on how many consumers will have their own satellites and over what time frame that might be? That's what we are trying to work on with our partners right now. You know, as you can see in the video, each uh, partner only take care of a small, very small fac uh, fraction of the whole supply chain, and uh, we are integrating it as um, uh, overall service to try to uh, add on more services and more care to the existing customers and uh, hope to open up a new market. We do see the demand growing because there are more and more people sending us inquiries about how can I send a satellite? Right, there's lots of questions about that on our end. Brian asks or says this is the first time he's hearing of personal satellites. So he asks, do you have competition and what's the barrier to enter the space? It can't be too easy. It's never easy. Um, there is a full process um, after this short video pitch, we have a full video about one hour and a half. And for people who seriously thinking about going through the process, that full video will show you how do you schedule the launch, how to customize your satellite, how to put the team together. And uh, we also have a celebration when you launch. So it's a whole process of um, actions and uh, we make it easy and convenient uh, for most people who are not very familiar with the process. So that will engage more people, even people who don't have much background in science can also participate in the space industry. And a few questions I'm gonna combine due to time. Don asks, what is the benefit to invest? Are you planning on going public and Richard asks if you are going, is it a private placement or an IPO? Tell us a little bit about your plan with that. Yes, currently we are a private company and the goal is to help the space industries, especially startup, to be recognized and grow faster in the future. So we do have an IPO plan from the beginning and uh, the way is to structure it to make investor can take part of the process as well. So we are working with uh, financial advisors and uh, uh, integrating our team, um, hopefully to uh, become a public company in the future. And he asks, what exactly can the satellite be used for? Do you have a uses, uses page on your website? Actually, many usages. So right now, if you go to our website, you can see different applications. Those are categories. And uh, um, in the future, actually just a, a, a few weeks, that we, we're going to show you the IC Mercury app. And that's going to display a lot of interesting projects. You'll be surprised how many entrepreneurs 
come out with creative ideas to make it space technology useful for people's life. So you will see, you know, you can send your DNA to the moon, you can send your artwork to the moon, you can utilize the satellite to manage fire, you can utilize the satellite to improve the operation of mining. So without seeing it, it's really hard to imagine. If you are not in the industry, you never know. Oh, satellite is everywhere. All these services are so, so useful in daily life. Fascinating. We have so many questions for you all, but we're out of time with our update. Thank you. Great video. That explains so much. And it's always nice seeing you guys and talking to you and learning more about this fascinating project. So thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. We'll be right back. Okay.